All right, so now that we got through with our very important pattern making of our gloves, I'm going to show you the very first tutorial. Um, so here's the deal. And during, during this gloves uh, 101 cosplay tutorial, there will be three different type of tutorials. There's going to be a pair of short gloves and long gloves. There will be the fingerless gloves and then there will be the handless gloves so what I'm going to show you is how to make a pair of short gloves first with the fingers I'm actually going to show you how I made my Sora my monster Sora gloves pretty much so that way everybody can have an idea of how I did it and how to do basically just any type of short uh, short gloves um, just be a, just understand something you've got to make sure that you have stretch fabric it's very very important that you have some sort of stretch fabric like whether it be regular light cross spandex uh, crushed velveteen stretch velvet and even stretch suede. Yes, there is such a thing as a stretch suede. You just have to like really test it. But anyway, so what the material that I used is a nice silverish uh, crushed uh, velveteen that I pretty much had in my fabric stash. Very, very fortunate that I had it because that's like the right color for Monster Sora. So basically what you're going to do is just cut out the fab make sure you have a nice big square of your fabric of whatever you have what you're going to do is you're going to basically take the very glove pattern that you just made by butchering it up pretty much and you're just going to pin it as you can see here uh basically pinning it of course is going to help keep everything down and also it's going to help you determine how to cut the fingers and whatever. Um, do want to do a quick reminder it all depends on what your hand size is but it's always good to make sure that you at least cut a little extra down to the bottom just a little bit to make sure that you get the nooks and crannies of between your fingers. It's very, very important. So basically, because of this pattern, what you're going to do is you're going to cut right around it, almost like you're going to make a duplicate of your very pattern that you made. The difference is you're using your own fabric and not um, the actual garden glove itself. Basically, you're making your own, you're cutting out the very same uh, shape as the former garden glove. Same thing with the thumb. You make sure you um, do that with your thumb. Uh, so go on and do that. But please understand that you make sure that you have two of these. One for one side and one for the other. And not to mention that please also make sure that your fabric that you're using is folded over you got to have two sides for each. That way, it's like, basically, you've got to make sure that the right side is on the inside when you cut it. Like, for example, you're going to basically use the wrong side of the fabric to do your glove pattern, your, your main glove pattern, okay? Same thing with your thumb. So go on and cut that out and go from there.
So the next thing you're going to do is basically once you have everything cut out, including your thumb, what you're going to do now is you're going to sew your thumb first. So basically, you're going to sew your thumb first and, and basically, yeah, so sew your thumb and then what you're going to do next is you're going to create an, on the, where your uh, wrist is. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to fold that over once to make a nice little hem on that part. Uh, make sure you do it for both sides. Um, and again, also, please understand that please make sure that both of both of your um, sides of your glove is on the wrong side. If you sew one wrong side to the right side, um, then that will be bad, so please make sure you do that. So once you sew your thumb and sew a nice hem on the wrist side, what you're going to do next is you're going to mainly take your thumb and you're going to attach it to where your thumb is, okay? So basically what I mean is when you create your hem and then maybe sew a little bit to that edge of the of where the thumb is going to be you're going to open up parts of the th both parts of the thumb and you're going to sew it to the to the thumb part of the pattern uh, for example so you open up the bottom of your thumb okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb you're, the very area you're going to place your thumb is basically you're going to um, open that part up and you're going to combine uh, the bottom of the thumb with the top of the part where it's going to be. And then you just sew it. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense. So you're just going to pretty much attach your thumb to the very area where it's going to be. Okay, so basically you sew your thumb, you make your hem where the wrist is, make your, um, make your hem where the wrist is, uh, basically you go on and sew that very area where it is, where the thumb is going to be, but do not sew the, but do not sew up the hole of where the thumb is going to be. So when you get to a certain point of that area, you then attach your said thumb uh, to that area of the glove, okay? So go on and do so.
thumb area and you attached your thumb, what you're now going to do is you're going to sew up from your wrist to where the end, where the beginning of your pinky will be, like from your wrist all the way to the very bottom of your pinky. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to be where you're going to start really sewing your glove together. So make sure that you have your wrist to your pinky completely sewn up on your the bottom portion of your pinky uh, finger sewn up. And then basically what you're going to do is from there you are going to make sure that your stitches are literally at the edge at the very edge of the seam allowance. So basically you almost I don't want to say you don't have any seam allowance but you almost don't have any seam allowance. That's how close to the fabric you need to sew it because basically when you do that your fingers are going to fit perfectly right inside your glove. So basically you start with your pinky. You start with your pinky finger and go all the way. And when you do all of your fingers just like that, um, please also, before I forget, please understand to please make sure that all fingers, uh, all your fingers of your fabric are very large like your pattern. You remember your pattern that I told you to cut out and remember how huge that I said that they were. Basically, you've got to make sure that your fingers on your main glove are just as big as your pattern because that is going to be very important when you make your gloves. So anyway, so from your pinky, you are going to sew the very edge of the fabric. That way that no, it will not be snug on your actual hand. Okay, so you're going to start from your pinky and end it with your index finger, okay? End it with your index finger and things like that. So when you get finished with all four of your four remaining fingers, what you're going to do is then on the inside out, you're going to try them on and see how well they fit you. If they fit you perfectly, then all you gotta do is turn them inside out. It's that simple. So again, please understand, please make sure that you sew on the literal edge of the fabric. So that way it will not be so snug or so incredibly tight to where you can't wear them, okay? So, with that said, I am gonna mention one other thing. When you try on your gloves, Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to look at it and inspect it. If you really think that you can make them, you can perfectly form your new gloves to your absolute finger, that's great. All you got to do is find your finger and then you just pin it at the end and make sure that when you go in and form it to your finger, you do it on the outside of your sewing pins. Sew it on the outside of your sewing pins, and then once you do that, you just cut, you just cut the remainder off, and then you have like literally a perfect glove. So again, so be sure that you sew on the outside of the on the absolute edges of all of your fingers. Um, make sure you try them on. If you like your finished product, all you gotta do is turn them inside out. That's all it is. If you like your finished product, that's great. That's the end of the tutorial. But if you want to find a way of form fitting to your exact finger shape, then make sure that you Find, find the tips of your fingers, including your thumb. Uh, do a, do a sewing pin.
to mark it where they are. Uh, so right outside the finger, uh, right outside of the sewing pin, and then just cut off the excess once you're done. It's actually not that hard. It's just making the real challenge of making your gloves is making sure that the fing that the fingers or the in between gaps of your fingers are not so tight and you got to make sure that they fit you pretty perfectly. Well, you know the old term, uh fits like a glove. I mean, it has to make sure that you that each in between of your fingers are basically form fitting to your fingers. That's the whole point of an actual glove is form fitting to your hand. Uh so that is the end of it. Um again, that's the end of the short gloves tutorial. And now I am getting ready to do the long the long gloves tutorial.